Hi, I'm Josh Fielstra with Native Instruments, and I'm happy to introduce Machine 1.7. Machine now features direct integration with Complete 8, including Complete 8 Ultimate, as well as the newest version of Complete Elements. Now, Machine 1.6 already gave you the ability to host plugins directly inside the machine environment. I could, for example, browse for Absinthe, load it in, and now Absinthe is running inside machine. With 1.7, however, in addition to hosting plugins, all of the presets from all of the instruments inside Complete 8 are now available inside the machine browser. If I go into my browser, you can see on the right-hand side, these are all the presets from all of the instruments inside Complete 8. This happens merely by installing both products, so you want to make sure you have both the most recent version of Machine as well as the most recent version of Complete 8. Having access to all of the presets and all of the instruments in Complete 8 is a lot of sound, so what we've done is we've categorized all of these presets. We've put tags on them so that you can find a specific sound quickly. If I go into the browser on Machine, I could, for example, say, give me only the presets from the product Reactor Spark. And then I could further refine it and say, give me only the brass sounds, for example, in Reactor Spark. But perhaps most importantly, you can also browse for sounds merely by their type without having to say what instrument it comes from. I could say, for example, I only want the bass sounds from the instruments in Complete 8. I don't care what product it's coming from, just show me all of the basses, and this is what shows up on the right-hand LCD. Immediately after loading a complete preset, you'll have an optimized control page for that sound, so you can adjust several parameters. Uh, here I've loaded a massive lead. I'll just leave browse mode, and now I have eight knobs directly assigned to the most logical top-level parameters for that sound, and I can start some tweaking. That's been pre-mapped specific for that preset. And you're also not limited to just those eight parameters. You actually have multiple pages of parameters that you can control. Uh, each is logically grouped by type. Let's do a practical example using the new Complete 8 integration. So I have here a drum pattern. And what I'd like to do is browse for a bass sound to complement this pattern. So I'll go into the browser, and then I'll tell Machine, let's look for uh, bass sounds from Absinthe. So I'll tell it I want Absinthe, and then I'll say bass. And now I'll play the drum pattern, and I'll just audition a few using the right-hand LCD. That one will probably work. If you created any instruments or effects using the prior Machine 1.6 version, these will now show up inside their own bank. If I go into the browser, here I have the effects category selected, you'll find a bank called User, and this is where your own content from Machine 1.6 will be located if you made any. Using Machine 1.7 with the latest complete instruments and effects results in an even more intuitive workflow. There's less reason to touch the mouse when you're in the creative flow.